Hey y'all, it's Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome any new viewers. So today we're going to do something that I thought would be a really cool idea. I actually bought these pieces last year and this was one of the ideas I had for it. So if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of what is needed. And I am super excited to get started. So let's just jump right on in and I will show y'all exactly what we're going to be making today. Alright y'all. So the first thing you're going to need is some big bells. I got these from I think I got them from Hobby Lobby. I'm pretty sure because that's where I've been going a lot. So yeah, I got these from Hobby Lobby last year. And I did not pay the $8. I paid about half price for them. So that's not bad for this size and quality be uh, bells. beads. So you're going to need some of these. You might even be able to find some cheaper elsewhere. But there's six in here. So just keep that in mind when, we're, when you're getting it. You're going to need some twine. Or rope or whatever you want to use. I'm going to use this twine. You're going to be needing some Christmas ribbon to make bows. I pre-made mine with a bow maker. I just looped them twice on each side and tied them off. So you're going to need that. You're going to need scissors. And you're also going to need some glue. I'm going to use hot glue. So let's jump on in and get started. So what we're doing today is we're making a garland for Christmas. I just, I know I've done one before, but I just really fell in love with these and I couldn't decide whether I wanted to make a garland or um, a wreath. So we're going to do a garland. So just cut you some string. I don't even know how long it is. This should be plenty enough for six bells and two bows. So, or twine, I said string. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to set them out a certain way. And I think I'm going to do white, green, red, white, green, red. So. Let me do it this way, yes. And we're just going to feed them onto the string. Oops. I dropped it. Or twine. Like I said, whatever you use. And we're just going to do that. super simple easy project to do it doesn't take long to do you can do other stuff other ways but I just thought this would be neat to do this just to have something festive around the house so. You want to make sure you have room left over on the back to on the ends to tie them up so you want to just make sure that about the same. So you're just spacing them out a certain way. And that's how it's going to be. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it in a knot and then I'm going to hot glue it, but I just want to show you the setup. before I did it. So you're just going to tie them. This way they don't move from their spot. It is kind of loud because it is bells, but it'll be fine. So 
all I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to Now what I would do, what I could have done is I could have tied each one, but I, like I said, I wanted to show you the spacing and how we were going to do it. So. But I would recommend tying them separate and then putting them on there. So. But it'll be fine. I got this. And you just do that for each one and try to get them in the same amount of area. So hold on. So I'm not making another bow, but I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I did. I got this bow maker off of Timu. And all I really did was I took my stuff. And I don't know if I did this right, but this is how I did it. And I just went around like this. I don't want to cut the bow, so. And I just did it around twice like this. And I went back through and then I pulled it off and I just clenched it in the middle and that's literally how I made my two bows which you can do the same thing without the bow maker just lay it flat and go certain I'll show you without the bow maker but I'm just showing you how I did it so another way to do it without the bow maker is you just lay it flat and you just go however long you want it to be and I don't want it to be as long as my tail so I made it a little bit shorter and you just do that twice and you stop going the other end and there's your bows so that's another way you can do it so I just wanted to show y'all how I made the bows that I pre-did and then of course I took and I cut at an angle the ends but you can cut either way. I cut the longer end on the inside. You can cut the longer end on the outside. However you want to do it. I'll show you what I mean. See how I cut it like this? You can have this on the outside. And this be the shorter end going this way instead. So now let's move on to the next step. So on each end, I'm going to attach the bow. Let me get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not doing what I want it to do. <sighs> Frustration sometimes. Frustration. So, each end I'm going to attach the bow with the little. I tied it with um, red twisters. That's how I um, tied my bow together. So, it's not good. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not just going to do this. I'm also going to hot glue it. I just want to get it where I want it to be. That makes sense. So each end is going to have a bow on it. This bow might be a little bit big, but I'm fine with that. This was what I had in mind. I don't know if it came ex out exactly how I was thinking, but this is what I wanted. And once I get it glued in place, I can play with it once just to make sure I have it exactly how I want it. So let's glue, next we're going to glue all the little spots. We're going to glue the bows. And even though we tied these in knots, we're going to glue them too just to help hold it. So that's the next step. Alright, so I am using hot glue like I said. So give me a second, let me play with this to get it how I want it to be. Not how it wants to be. I might, actually you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go ahead and glue it on top of the first bell on the last bell just to help hold it some more to go the way I want it to go I'm going to force it to do what I want it to do 
I don't care whether it wants to do that or not. Alright. So that's the first one. Let me go back and fix that a different way. Give me a second. I'm going to fix that a different way. So I changed my mind how I wanted to sit. I, want, I put it through the bell and now I'm going to hot glue it to help it stay in place. And it's going to be behind so it's not going to matter as much. So let that dry. And we're going to go to each one and add some glue just to help it stay like I said. This keeps the knot from coming undone because it's glue. And then of course the last one which is the one where I put the bow. dry and then we'll see how it looks so we're gonna make little hooks also for it and what you're gonna do is you're gonna just flip it over and you're going to glue that together and just to make it look nicer you'll take some other twine than what you used and you're just gonna glue it around it just to help it look nice And it helps hold it also. If I can get it to do what I want it to do, not what it wants to do. You go all the way down to the end of the loop. And then you'll glue it. Just gives it a little nicer look. I glued another spot just to help hold it so I can do this. And there's the loop that you're going to hold it on. So you're going to do it on both ends. All right, y'all, and that's what it looks like hanging up, and I am super happy with it, and I think it came out looking great. I cannot wait to hang this up for Christmas. I think it's going to be an amazing addition, sorry, to my decorations. All right, y'all, so that was it for today's project. I absolutely love how it came out. I think it came out amazing. I am, like I said, I am super excited to have that decorating my house this Christmas. So if you like this project, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye!